Hey, everyone makes mistakes. Yeah, but we did the right thing. We did the right thing. We corrected our mistake. We did correct the mistake. That's it. And now <laughs> everything. <laughs> <laughs> Now yeah. everything is fixed. Every these things happen. Yeah, these it, things happen. It happens to me all the time with my English, and yeah. to you with your Spanish. Wow, to me with my Spanish. I don't think I ever don't make mistakes with my Spanish. I'm constantly making mistakes. <laughs> um, so guys, welcome to the show. This is Blah Blah Live, your Friday after work audio beer. That's what this show is. Audio beer. It's an audio beer. It's, it's, an, a, it's a beer. It's alcohol for the ears. Una audio cerveza. Una audio cerveza. Sí. I like it. Es una, una caña por los orejas. <laughs> Ooh. Or las orejas. Las orejas. Las orejas. But that's God. gross. It's like when you when you when your ears are blocked <laughs> and they put water in that. Put Ooh. a little beer in there, guys. <laughs> ¿Sabes uh, que hoy es el Día Mundial sin alcohol? Really? Is, is it really? International non-alcoholic. Day or oh somebody. man, I'll be sure to celebrate that with a beer after the show. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, today we have a question, just like every um, every blah blah live show. And today's question is: What's the worst piece of advice that you've ever received? ¿Cómo dirías este en español? ¿Cuál, cuál es el peor consejo que has recibido en tu vida? Mm -hmm. Yes, perfect. So what is the worst piece of advice you have ever received? Importante que no decimos... Well, you can say what's the worst, the worst advice, no? Yeah, what's the worst advice but, you've ever received, I guess. But we don't use advice as a countable noun. We don't say an advice, two advices. No. Yeah, no, 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 no. Si es uno, piece of advice. A piece of advice. Or tip. A tip, a consejo. Consejo. Yeah. So, yeah, guys, that's the question for today's show. What is the worst piece of advice you have ever received? What's the worst piece of advice you have ever received, Mamin Rivera? Oof. Many. <laughs> yeah, many? I don't know. I can't think of one off the top of my head, but I'm sure a lot bad advice. Yeah? You know, when people just don't know what to do, with their lives, but they are always <laughs> telling you what to do. Yeah, never accept relationship advice from a single person. Oh, yes, no, that is... That's always bad. No, <laughs> so no. <laughs> yeah. Have you, I mean, I've been in that situation. Mm -hmm. Like, I've been with a person who's received bad advice from their single friends, <laughs> or I've been the person in a relationship receiving bad advice from single friends. Yeah, so that's the question today, guys. What's the worst piece of advice you have ever received. But guys, if you are listening to this show, if you're just listening to the show in traditional methods, like the 18th century, uh, <laughs> gathered around a candle, <laughs> listening to the radio, or you're in your car, then you should know you're missing well, 50% of the show. 18th century? Was there a radio? In the 19th century. Yeah. La Ouija. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm just throwing out numbers. <laughs> I'm the I'm the radio I'm the I'm the <laughs> Donald Trump of on radio. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> believe me, believe me. I I have a friend who tells me it's the 18th century. <laughs> um, so guys, if you are listening to this on traditional, um, by traditional means, by traditional radio, you you are missing 50% of the show. The people who really know, los blah blah livers de verdad. <laughs> they go to facebook.com barra Grupo Vaugan. They look for the live video, pon ahí live or directo. You click there and you can actually see the show with Maman and I live on air and you can interact just like Mercedes, Ana, Daniela. Mercedes says, hello, blah, 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 blahers. Blah, blah, verse. <laughs> blah, blah, verse is cool too. It's like flubber. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Um, Anna Montenegro says, hi, everyone. Hi, Anna. Hi, Anna. And Daniela says, hi, everyone. Friday, I'm in love. Oh. <laughs> oh. Um, the worst piece of advice I've received so far is not to go live abroad. My mum's advice. And now it's too late, I think. Um, Mercedes, mm. it's never too late to live abroad. Nope. True. Never too late. So your mum told you it was a bad idea to go live abroad. Yeah, don't live abroad. Nah. Nah. That's always not maybe not always, but sometimes it's a good idea. Yeah. Um can I can I make a confession? A ver. Can I make a confession? Of course. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> um in Von Radio, one of the people here uh -oh. is a thief. 
How do you say thief in Spanish? Ladron. A ladron. Or ladrona. Oh, someone, one of the Blah Blah Live team, and that's including Mr. Tino, is a thief. A dirty thief. <laughs> and your job, guys, is to guess which one of us it is. We have created, again, because we have way too much time on our hands. Oh, yes. A poll. Espera que tengo que buscar el enlace. Okay. So, um, the thing is, we've all... Get, the weather is getting colder now. A okay? poll. ¿Qué es un poll? A poll, uh, una encuesta, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay. Un, un chico que se llama Pablo también. A poll. <laughs> poll. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, we have created a poll, so you can guess which one of the people, which one of the blah, blah, live... All stars, that's Tino, mm. Mamen, and myself. Which one of us is a thief? Because one of us is wearing a coat, un abrigo, a coat <laughs> that is stolen. Yes. Uh, Tino, come through to the studio so you can show people your, your jacket. Yes. Yeah. I, so, do, we, do we have to wear our jackets now? Um, we don't have to wear them, but we should show them. This okay, okay. this is my this is a jacket that I I wore today. Maybe it's stolen. Maybe it's not. Okay. This is my jacket. One of the people here is a thief. This is my jacket. This is my jacket. This is Mamin's jacket. Okay, and one one of us Tino's is coming through now. Here he comes. <laughs> Pero... He looks like the guy in I Know What You Did Last eh, Summer. <laughs> Tienes pinta de chungo? Chungo, eh? Chungo, chungo. <laughs> and here's Tino, the mysterious Tino. Look, this he is has his, a face. <laughs> this is his jacket. <laughs> so one of us, one of us is came in today with a stolen jacket. Which one of us is it? The poll link... Oh, that was Google. Um, the <laughs> Google poll, knows everything. Google knows everything. The poll <laughs> is, the link is in the chat and you have to tell us which one of us, is it, is it Tino, is it Mamen or is it Rob, who, is where, who came in today with a stolen jacket. I'm, we're not talking borrowed. Ooh. No está prestado. No, no está prestado. It's stolen. It's stolen. Someone stole a jacket. Someone stole called... a jacket. So was it me, was it Tino, or was it Mamen? You have to guess. You have to guess. And Bye, Tini. I, Tino. I, <laughs> Did I just call him Tini? Tini. He's <laughs> de cariño. <laughs> so, yeah, you guys last week voted that I was... Um, alcoholic. The one, alcoholic. The one who came to the studio uh, in a hangover. Yeah, with, with and a hangover. It with a hangover, sorry. And it wasn't me. With a hangover or hungover? Hungover, yeah. Either, Either one is correct. Last those. So, so, yeah, so let's have a look. You've had a few minutes now to express your opinions, viewers. Let's see what you're thinking. Whoa! Ooh! Oh, 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 oh! oh. Tino! Tino, they think it was you. So far, the, the audience, the Blah Blah Livers, <laughs> think it was Tino who <laughs> came... <laughs> who thinks Tino is the one who stole the jacket. 33% uh, of the people um, think it's Mamen because... Yeah. You're gonna you're you gonna know? make a mistake again. And and seventeen percent the least amount think it was me because <laughs> I'm an angel. That looks like the Catalonian flag with, <laughs> with the red bars and the and the white uh, sorry, yellow and red bars. So what do you think, guys? <laughs> what do you think? Who was it? Mamin, Tino or Rob? Who came in with a stolen <laughs> coat? Abrigo. Uh, <clears throat> no digo nada, y lo digo todo. <laughs> How would you say that in English? Untranslatable. Um, uh, no digo nada y lo digo todo. Um, uh, yeah, I don't think there is a translation for that. <laughs> you say everything, or your silence speaks volumes. Oh, toma ya. Yeah. Your silence speaks volumes. Yeah, look at that. So knowledgeable. Oh, so okay, so well educated. Sh let's repeat. Surely he's not a thief. Re repeat it because I didn't know this one and I want to learn it. Um, si your silence speaks volumes. Your silence speaks volumes. Literally, tu silencio habla volúmenes. Yeah, exactly. Your silence speaks volumes. I love it. So that's the poll for today, guys. You have to go in there and um, and let us know who you think is the thief. So what's the worst piece of advice you've ever got? I think the worst piece of advice I ever received was, um, well, I mean... In business, there are several, I think, counterproductive pieces of advice. Mm -hmm. I think first one, first counterproductive piece of advice people give you is not to stress. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. 
stress usually is provoked by something, some real world evidence. A little stress is healthy. Um, not to, uh, not to, not to fight. Um, to kind of accept the status quo. Again, another bad piece of advice, in my opinion. I completely sometimes, agree with that. Sometimes the status quo needs to be shaken up a little bit. Yeah, and and it, it's very useless to say, no te estreses. No te estreses. Don't stress. It's like... It's Cheer up. That's Cheer another up. terrible piece An of advice. Animate. Ah, <laughs> thank you. It was so easy. <laughs> oh, thanks. I'm happy I, now. I was depressed a second ago, but now I had no idea. Yeah, I just should be happy anyway. Cool. Do, you know, do you know who Mr. Wonderful is? No. Uh, Mr. Wonderful is a uh, designer, I don't know, and he or she writes... Well, it's Mr., so it must be he. Yeah. Writes all this motivational quotes that are just like that. Sé feliz. No, ah, no. Siempre hay un rayo de luz. Come there is, on. There is nothing more f infuriating oh, and, yes. and depressing than seeing inspirational quotes in your in your timeline on Instagram or I, Facebook. I hate it. It's horrible. Hate it too. Don't do Ugh. that. Or, or send them on WhatsApp. S a smile costs nothing. Yeah. Yeah, well, it costed you an unfollow. <laughs> That's what it cost. <laughs> okay, so let's look at the chat. Luis, um, fan destacado Luis Caro says, Hi, boys and girls. Hi. Hey, hey, Luis, how are you doing, man? Uh, Charo, hello, everyone. Hi, Charo, how's it going? Um, Juan Ramon Galvez, Boca Negra says, Hello, Mamin and Rob. Hello. Mamin, you sound with a cold. You sound like you have a cold. Mm -hmm. At least, at least he, sorry, at least he didn't say, I sound constipated. <laughs> yeah. Which is a very typical <laughs> mistake. Yeah. Constipated is estreñida o estreñido. So, well, he, he says, take care. You must take care of yourself. Thank you. Thank you. I, I'm on it. Um, I'm going to go to bed <laughs> right after the show. <laughs> um, Raulin from the best, let me just say it something, guys. There are a lot of bars in Madrid. There are a lot of, there are a lot of cafes in Madrid. But there is one cafe, there is one bar in um, uh, in Barrio de la Concepcion near the park um, that serves the best breakfast. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm monologuing, but you're going to have to, we're going to do a little monologue now. Okay. Because Raul is a very close friend of Pata Liebre, um, Tino and me, <laughs> myself. Ladies and gentlemen, you wake up on a Saturday morning, you're feeling a little tired, a little... A little rundown from a tough week at work, from the beers that you've been drinking the night before. How do you recover? There's only one way, ladies and gentlemen, and that is a bacon and egg sandwich. <laughs> Descapotable. Descapotable. <laughs> yeah, because it's, it's got a little hole cut in the top. A convertible sandwich. <laughs> Served by Raul um, in the in the park in Barrio La Concepcion. Um, Raul, what's the name of your bar, my my friend? I I, I still don't know because we call. You don't it... know the name of the bar. No. Ah, El Centro del Parque. <laughs> Thank you, Tino. El Centro del Parque, bar um, near near the park in Barrio de La Concepcion. Um, pero cómo se llama el parque de toda la vida? Ah, yeah, Parque Calero. Thank ya, ya you. Estamos gentrificando. <laughs> so, guys, you've got to go there and ask if you ask Raul for Rob Sandwich or the breakfast. Rob sandwich. Yeah, yeah. Or the breakfast of champions. He knows exactly what to give you. It's a beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful crispy bacon oh with God. a fried egg, perfectly juicy. With Ooh. perfectly toasted bread on the top and the bottom, <laughs> and the top lovingly cut out so you can see the egg oh. and the yellow yolk. Fantastic. Served with a coffee and a fresh orange juice. I, I'm gonna go okay. to have breakfast with you tomorrow. <laughs> True story. I'm going tomorrow. Raul, you've got to go see our friend Raul. He's a good friend of Tino's and I, and um, just an awesome human being. Wow. Tino and I spread our birthdays there every year. That was an amazing ad. It was. So Raúl, you should <laughs> you should you should give him a sandwich for free or ten. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mercedes, hi Mercedes. She says, "I bet the thief is Tino." Oh my god! Oh 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 oh! Oh my god! Someone has a bad reputation here. Um, Luis Enrique says, "Pep up." It doesn't mean it's the, pep up. It doesn't mean the end of the world. The worst piece of advice: pep up. Pep. pep. Up. Put some pep in your step. Que es eso? Que to pep. <laughs> it means to I don't know to 
Animate, más o menos. Uh, pop, pop. It does, it's, we wouldn't say, though, Luis, we wouldn't say it doesn't mean the end of the world. We, we would say it's not. Mm. It's not the end of the world. Yeah. Cheer up. It's when, not the end of the world. When you are a little bit depressed or down, not like clinically depressed, but just a little bit down, and someone says, it's not the end of the world. You know it's not the end of the world, but you just don't want to hear that. Don't yeah, say yeah. that to people when they're down, please. Um, Jorge says, never adopt a dog. It's crystal clear that I didn't listen to it. Well done. Good for you. <laughs> I don't understand. That someone told him that someone, he shouldn't oh. adopt a dog. Worst piece of advice ever. Oh. Adopt a dog, guys. Do not go to a breeder. Adopt a dog. Yes. Adopt a dog. There's so many doggies out. I've got two adopted doggies. Both of them were strays. You, George, are an excellent human being, um, and thank you for saying that on our show. And they don't get sick that often. Well, no, if they're, yeah, if they're a mongrel. Mongrel, mongrel. Mongrel, chucho. Chucho, well, <laughs> I have to think so I don't say yeah, something yeah, yeah. really <laughs> off-color. Chucho, chucho. Chu, con <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, yeah, because they're yeah they're they're hardier. We say they're more resistant to um, mongrel. disease. Mongrel, a mongrel. Se escribe mongrel. Mongrel. Yeah. Um, uh, Carmen says the thief is mummy. <gasps> I'm sure. Oh my god. Oh well, we're not going to. We'll tell you at the end of the show. You've got to tune in. Um, Daniela Karina says Portino already prejudging him by wearing a hood. I know. Yeah, this is true. This is true. When you see people with a hoodie. With, yeah. the, with the hood on, it's like they're hiding some, something. See, they don't know Tino like we know Tino. We know Tino is the nicest guy in the world. And they just saw him with his hood. They thought, ah, este tío tiene pinta de ser chungo, eh? <laughs> chungo, Dodge, chungo. Dodgy. Dodgy is a dodgy <laughs> guy. Let's see how the poll's looking right now. Tino is probably le the least dodgy person I know. <laughs> yeah. So, no. <laughs> Oops, someone's voted for me. Uh oh. Now Tino's at 50%, Mamen Rivera at 25%, and Rob at 25%. Does this look like the face of a thief? Come on now. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I, I imagine less people trust me this week after last week, after the hangover question. This is yeah. the thing, you never know. You, you never, never know. know. I like this poll thing. <laughs> yeah, it's good. <laughs> so yeah, there is someone, one of the three of us is a thief. Uh, you'll find out in the second half of the show. We're not going to give anything else away. So what is, like, what for you is um, is a gr good piece of advice? We've already said that a bad piece of advice to someone who's who's down, who's upset, mm -hmm. who's, you know, not happy, is to say cheer up. What is a good piece of advice you could give someone who's down or unhappy? That you have the right to be down and unhappy and don't add that, that up to your depression i don't know that you <laughs> you have the right like you, you you can be depressed it's okay it's, i mean it's not yeah. okay but what are you gonna do is that you it's depressed not your, it's not your fault good for you it's not your, it's not your carry fault. on <laughs> carry on that's another one it's not your fault I'd yeah say, so. what if it is their fault what mm. if they're depressed if, for something if it's, they've done? if it's their fault they might not want to hear that at that moment yeah. No? I don't know. I'm not good with advice. Yeah, I know. Me neither. I, I try not to give many. <laughs> yeah, I got no advice when I was a kid, when I was young. Like, any problem I had, like, it'd, it'd be like, you know, stiff up a lip is the British expression. <laughs> okay. Stiff up a lip. It means you, you have to be, you have to remain composed all the time. Mm. Don't cry. Rub some dirt in it. That's another one. <laughs> if you've hurt yourself or you cry, just rub some. Be a man. That's what I used to hear a lot. Be a man. Be a man. That is a terrible piece of advice. That is a terrible piece of advice. Yeah, I think it's slightly worse if you're a woman, though. <laughs> I don't know. Mamen not... Rivera, be a man. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> some men have had that piece of advice so many times. Yeah, I have to <laughs> Too say. Too many times. I have to say. I have to say. I had that piece of advice, and I found it. Now in little life, I look back and I can direct. Because my grandfather was a very man's man. You know, he didn't deal well with emotion. Mm -hmm. Didn't speak about his feelings. And for most of my life, I was exactly the same way. I, and even now, I find it hard to communicate like the way I'm feeling and things. 
and I can draw the line right back to that man and him saying, you know, don't be a sissy. Oh, yes. You know? Man up. Man up, exactly. Man up. I mean, that for me is probably the worst piece of advice you can give. That's horrible. Yeah. You know? that Be a man. Don't be a sissy. That's probably the worst piece of advice mm, you can receive. I don't know how you say this, but this one is a terrible piece of advice. Um, no tengas pájaros en la cabeza. You don't have birds in your head. Yeah, what's, <laughs> what a terrible piece of advice. No, como no. <laughs> Tienes muchos pájaros en la cabeza. Uh, you know what that means? That yeah, it be... means you're, an air, you're, you're not concentrating, mm -hmm. right? No, it means that you have a lot of... That you're very ambitious and you have ah. a lot of dreams. No tengas pájaros en la cabeza. Horrible thing. Yeah, stop dreaming, guys. Stop dreaming. Stop, dream stop having dreams and ambitions. Yeah. What's wrong with you? Esto a mí me lo decía <laughs> mucho, eh? What do you want to be when you're a kid, Rob? <laughs> oh, I, I want to be I want to be a comedian. <laughs> Can you just set your sights a little lower than that? <laughs> I want to I, I want to be uh, I want to be uh, in marketing. <laughs> mm, no, 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 a little lower. <laughs> I want to clean toilets. Very good. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um uh, Luis says Robin Hood. Now I understand. Ah, bueno, pero Robin if Hood? if Tino's Robin Hood, Robin Hood stole ah. from the rich, but he gave to the poor. Yes. He was a hero. He was a hero. Tino, you're a hero. And a communist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um uh, fan destacado Marco says, "Hi guys, second week in a row. In a row or second week straight. Very good. What? Mm. Can we get Marco a, a nivelazo, please? Marco, very good, dude. <laughs> oh, Portino. Portino. Nivelazo. There you go. Um, uh, enjoying your program live. And we're enjoying that you're enjoying it, my friend. Um, Daniela says, hello, guys. Now I'm preparing my Portuguese lessons for my Ooh. students. So I'm supposed to think in Portuguese, but I prefer listening to you meanwhile. Hugs from Peru. A hug right back oh, to you, Danielle. Thank I don't you. speak any Portuguese. Or Daniel. Uh, no? No. Um, Bemvin no, how do you say um, welcome in Sp in Portuguese? I'm not, I don't know. Isn't it Bemvindo or something? I don't know. I, don't I know. can barely speak Spanish. Francesinha, pastéis de Belém, <laughs> viño verde. <laughs> That's all I can say. Daniel, how do you say blah, blah? Blah, blah is an expression when you're just talking nonsense. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. So how would you say blah, blah live in Portuguese? Mm. Please tell us, Daniel. Yeah. Um, my, my brother-in-law is Portuguese. I should know this. I should know a little bit more. Yeah? Yeah. You should. You're a terrible sister-in-law. Yeah. <laughs> Luis Enrique says, don't cry over spilled milk. Oh. I don't know. Is that not good advice? You made a mistake now. Let it go and move on. Let Oof. it go. Let it go. <laughs> I don't know anymore. The words. <laughs> <laughs> let it go, let it go. Oh, I can't sing today. Don't cry pretend. over spilled milk. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's not the the worst <laughs> advice. Not no? the worst advice. But yeah, if you need to cry over spilled milk, cry. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel. Benvindo. I wasn't Benvindo. so far away with well. Yeah. Yeah. Benvindo. Our friend Alex is Portuguese too. Oh, ah, really? Yeah, Alexandra. We should learn something we from, should. from her. We should bring her to the show one day so that she teaches yeah. us some, some Portuguese. She would be fun on the show. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, Luis Enrique says, let bygones be bygones. Again, I think this is good advice. Don't hold a grudge. Don't hold a grudge. I don't know what you're talking about. To hold a grudge. Um, no seas rencoroso. Ah, no seas rencoroso. Yeah. Oh, already? Don't don't hold a grudge. Let bygones be bygones. But a uh, nivelazo, Luis. That mm -hmm. was um, that was pretty awesome. Let bygones. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Let bygones be bygones, dude. You're a you're a superstar. <coughs> uh, Daniel, it's similar but without the H. Blah blah. Ah. ah like in you. Spanish. Like in Spanish. Yeah. Um, and Luis says, don't follow your nose. Use the brain. Use your brain. Mm -hmm. Use your brain. I have to announce the winner of my contest on Instagram. Yeah, and it's coming in the second half, guys. Don't go anywhere. So don't go anywhere. Bye! <laughs> Welcome back to the show, guys. Here we are. You thought we'd left. You thought we'd abandon you, but we haven't. Um, over the break, Begonia said, Hello, guys. You feel like banging your head against the wall. Is it okay? You feel like banging your head 
against the wall. Yeah, when you're very frustrated, you could <gasps> say, "I feel like banging my head against a brick, a brick. wall." Una a brick wall. De ladrillos. Yeah, but against the wall is fine too. It would be perfectly understood. Um, Enrique sa uh, Luis says, "Greetings from Stockholm, Sweden. Ooh. I am at the back of beyond. I would say." Ooh. I don't know. Stockholm seems like a pretty big <laughs> city to me. The back of beyond is really far away from civilization, right? If you lived on an island or in the countryside, mm -hmm. I'm in the back of beyond. <laughs> uh, Marco says, by the way, how can I vote for that question? Is it only writing my opinion? No, um, no you have a link. There is a link right there in the chat. And, um, uh, and you just click on the person you think is the thief. Um, in in Marco's opinion, it's Mamin. <gasps> yeah, they they think bad things about you, Mamin. Our blah blah live. I think Marco Marco was def was defending me last week. He was, but this week he knows better. Que He's fuerte. not going to be fooled twice. Que this week he he knows which one of the three of us is a thief. Or at least he thinks he does. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is the th problem. You do we do blah blah live, there is an angel and a devil in the room. And I, <laughs> or outside the room. And I'm the one with the wings. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe the the devil is in the control room. Maybe. Could be Tino. Who, Who knows? knows? Okay, um Mamen, you have a um, an yes, announcement. I have been I've been I've done a Contest? Can you say that? Con yeah, a concurso. Un concurso. Nowadays, contest. you'd say a giveaway. A giveaway. Yeah. I'm I'm giving away a book. Inglés para rubias que no tienen un pelo. That's the best book in the world. Si no lo tenéis, you can buy it on the uh, group of Vaughan. Uh, Vaughan Tienda. Vaughan Tienda. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, my thing, my my contest, my giveaway was. That uh, I posted uh, something on Instagram, and you guys had to share it on a story and write a sentence beginning with "I need inglés para rubias" because blah blah blah. And I have two winners. Two winners. Not one. I couldn't oh. pick just one. You had to were, pick two. There were there were two that were really really good. Let's go. Let's see. Tenemos let's hear them. No, you have to look for it. Can you? Can you? Okay, I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> and the winner is Mr. Houses. That Mr. is Houses. the first winner. Okay. Another... Because, and let me explain oh. this. He created an Instagram account just to participate <laughs> on this. And his sentence is, I need English para rubias because my wife said that I wouldn't win it. And this is the only chance... I'll have in my life to prove her wrong and here. Estaba equivocada y tú tenías razón. So I guess the present is going to be for Mrs. Houses. Mrs. Houses. <laughs> Woo! And and he also says, and I deserve it because first of all, I'm first of all, I'm your most hardcore listener since Mum and Splaining started. This is true. And second of all, because I'm really working my ass off. <laughs> To figure out how this crap works, <laughs> referring to Instagram stories. And he gave me, you know, two unicorns and a gift with Rosalia. And y y Rosa, ah, the flamenco woman. Cool. <laughs> she doesn't seem flamenco. Anyway. Well, more or less. No. <clears throat> <laughs> well, more or less. Uh, so thank you, Mr. <laughs> Houses, for your story. You're going to get the book. Hey! So Mrs. Houses is going to have to say that you were right. But I want you to read the book, okay? It's not only for Mrs. Houses, it's for you as well. Because even though the book is called Inglés para Rubias, there, I know there is a blonde trapped in your body, Mr. Houses. And because... there was two winners, right? Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and the second winner is... <laughs> Alexandra Parlea. And the... <laughs> Eso ha sido como un poco... Oh. Oh. <laughs> no, no, I'm happy that you won, Alexandra, because your, her, her sentence was, I need inglés para rubias because I want to feel the mammon's planning English gasm. <laughs> es como... <laughs> no entiendo nada, pero me encanta. English gasm is like... English orgasm, I don't know, but I'm going to give you the book and you can do whatever you want with it. <laughs> I really hope you get that English gasm, Andrea. 
Well, con- 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 congratulations to uh, <laughs> Alexandra. Sorry to Mrs. Houses and, uh, and Alexandra. <laughs> wow! Thank you very much, everybody, for for participating. I had lots of fun reading those stories. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Luis oh. Luis asks, can this book be used for brunettes as well? Of course. Es para rubias atrapadas en cuerpos de morenas, de pelirrojas, de señores, de calvos como Rob. <laughs> vale para todo. <laughs> uh, Begonia asks, I ask, oh, says, should I say, I need English para rubias because I'm rubia. <laughs> ah, but the contest was on Instagram. Was on Instagram. Next time. Next time I'll do one on Facebook. And Luis asks for redheads. Yes, for redheads. For everybody. Vale para todo el mundo. Um, Hazel says, ¿Cómo puedo decir saludos desde Nicaragua? Say, hi from, hi from Nicaragua. Easy. 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 <laughs> Just six little letters. Hi from Nicaragua. Yeah, hi ¿Cómo from. ¿Cómo dices Nicaragua en inglés? Nicaragua. Nicaragua. <laughs> and hi Hazel, welcome to the show Hello So now we move on to a part of the show You know, we spend 24 hours a day on Vaughn Radio mm-hmm. teaching English Ugh. <laughs> All I ask is 10 minutes where you can teach me some Spanish <laughs> let's, ro- let's roll the sound effect, you know La, la map, el mapa, la map, la mapa. Teach Rob some Spanish. <laughs> can you do that? Can you do the? Yeah, pick the apple, eat the apple, throw the apple away, no, stand on the apple. You can't. Dude, done. <laughs> no, 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 I'm so Spanish right no, now. <laughs> You okay. tried, you tried. Though. I did, I tried, I tried. <laughs> so this section of the show is called Teach Rob Some Spanish. There is um, a Spanish saying, an idiom, a f- frase hecha, mm-hmm. right? On the screen right now, prepared by, by Mamen and I. She tests a few every day until we get to one that I do not know. And I genuinely do not know the meaning of this phrase. Estar metido en el ajo. Yes. Estar metido en el ajo. Mm -hmm. And I genuinely don't know the meaning of this phrase, so I need you guys to explain it to me in English. You are going to teach Rob some Spanish, and that's Mm -hmm. the name of the game. Um, I see a few answers popping up on the screen. I'm not going to look. We'll we'll, we'll give people an opportunity to (laughs) write in. So what do you think it means? Estar metido en el ajo. It's obviously a cooking idiom, mm-hmm. you know, like too many cooks, spoil the broth, um, you know. But this cooking idiom, you know, in, involves, you know, using, uh, it's about bad breath. It's about um, when you've got bad breath because you've eaten too much garlic. Oh, come mm-hmm. on. Come on. It was no. close though, right? No. Oh, damn. No, no tiene nada que ver con el aliento. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry. So, okay. Try again, try again. I'm, okay. We'll Estar... give you a second chance okay. before we read the correct answer. Okay. Um, Estar metido en el ajo, I mean, I find it very obvious. It's obviously um, it's obviously about farming, the farming of garlic. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it's the dangers of digging the hole where you're going to place the garlic bulb. It's a di- don't dig the hole too deep. <laughs> Porque vas a estar metido en el ajo, ¿no? Uh-oh. Done. Next. Okay, sorry, guys. I guessed it on my own. I did. Next. Okay, next idiom, please. I really like that one. I wish you were true. It's not true? No, it's oh. not true. Sorry, oh. but I really like that one. That oh. idea of <laughs> meterte literalmente donde están los ajos. Pero no, no es okay. eso. No. Bueno, let's take a look at the chat and let's okay. see if anyone out there has been able to teach Rob some Spanish. Luis Enrique te says to be on the loop or to be in the loop. To be in the loop. Very good. Entonces, bueno, let's see. Let's read it. Let's see, let's see. Or to be on it. Marco says, when you are involved in something, generally it's something related with corruption or bad things. So is it to be involved or to be aware of corruption? Yes. <gasps> yes. Marco! <laughs> Luis! You just taught Rob some Spanish. Yeah, but not necessarily corruption. Oh, okay. Okay? It means to be involved 
en something. Yeah. Normally something dodgy. Okay. Se está metido en el ajo. Este mm. tío, this Tino, or this mamen, not Rob. <laughs> this Tino, or this mamen, stole a jacket. <laughs> who, who was it, by the way, guys? Who was it who stole the jacket? Here we go. Someone... Um, thank you, by the way, guys, for teaching Rob some fun. <laughs> Someone in this room está metido en el ajo. En, en el ajo de... Yeah. De robar. You've, um, you've, you've, you've stolen something. <laughs> I'm the thieving yeah. garlic. So someone in the room has stolen something. Um, this is what the poll looks like right now. Oh. Um, excuse oh, me? Oh, 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 blah, blah, oh. livers. Oh, oh, e oh. Excuse me? <laughs> Sorry, I had to stand up there. I got a little... Uh -uh. So Tino currently is leading the votes. Mm. With 50% of the votes, people think that Tino is the person who came into the work today wearing a stolen coat. 30% of the people think it was Rob. What? With a face as angelic as this? <laughs> <laughs> think it was Rob that stole... Or came in today wearing a stolen coat, a coat that he stole. And only 20% of the people think it was Mamen who mm. came into work today wearing a stolen coat. I think they coat. know you're from Yorkshire. Yorkshire people <laughs> don't have a fame for being thieves. Oh, no? If anything, Yorkshire people have a fame for being honest. Ah, too honest. Too honest. Too honest. Demasiado honestos. Yeah. Okay. We've completely abandoned today's question, by the way. Yes. Oh, yeah. Do you want to go back to it? To pieces of advice? No, no I, think we've, I think we've milked it dry. <coughs> ¿Conoces este, este dicho? To milk something dry. To milk is, is a verb. It's what you do to cows. Can you say that in Spanish? No. Ordeñar. Ordeñar. Yes. Wow, it's difficult to pronounce. Yeah, it's difficult. Ordeñar. Yeah. So to milk something dry is when you've... When you say you've created, I don't know, you, you, you've you created a thing and then you release it on several different platforms mm -hmm. and you remix it and reuse it. And eventually it's gotten to the point where you've used the material so much, it's impossible to repeat it again. You've milked ordeñado. Mm -hmm. as on ordeñado. But we don't use it in that sense. No? That's you've, literally... You've milked it dry. I'm going to stop doing this expression yeah. <laughs> on the screen because it looks weird. It looks weird. It yeah. looks like I'm driving, actually. I don't care. Okay. So, yeah, um, uh, so yeah, we've milked the day's topic dry. Now we've got the mm. poll. I feel like the question is a little, you know, it's good no, to but start, there people. There is something we can still talk about the question. Like, what's the worst advice you've ever received English learning related? Like... Oh, I don't know. I, no, I never, I never learned English at an age where I would receive advice. Mine was to to study lists, like lists of irregular verbs, like come, oh, yeah. come, come, drove, drive, drove. I, I, I was doing that for all my childhood yeah. years. Yeah, and you don't think that helped? It didn't help at all. <laughs> drive, drove, drive. Así nos aprendíamos los verbos. Yeah. Terrible advice. I mean, the only piece of advice I've received about Spanish is, please, please, Rob, please, for the love of God, please, Rob, learn Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting <laughs> Um, Marco Pana says, for example, Mamen está metida en el ajo in this issue of wearing a stolen coat. Qué fuerte. Marco is convinced it was you, Mamen. Qué fuerte. Yeah. I just know... Marco, um, I really loved you last week, but this week... <laughs> This week, no. I don't know. I don't know. One of the two people, or the three people in the studio right now, <laughs> is a dirty thief. <laughs> 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 I'm milking it this week because oh, we have a we have an audience. <laughs> oh, we do. There's a, there's a there's a gentleman stood right behind us. Hello, Mr. Mr. He's, Man. Hello. He's looking f he was listening to the radio, and now he's looking for his coat. Yeah. Is it Mammon that's wearing it? Is it Rob that's wearing it? Or is it Tino? So yeah, guys, today's question is what what is the worst oh, piece of advice you have ever received? Worst piece of advice you have ever received. Yeah, I don't know. For me, for me, the most dangerous advice you can ever give people is about relationships. Oh yes. But I think it's the most common thing you ask for advice about. Right? Hmm. Yeah. 
because I think we're not we're not made to be in relationships. That's why they they have so many problems. That's a hot take, Mama. <laughs> Do you know that expression? A hot take. No. That's a controversial opinion. Mm -hmm. That's a hot take right there. Or at least just not with the same person for all your life. No, with multiple uh, people. Multiple people, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope Mr. Mamin Rivera isn't listening. <laughs> I think he'd like the idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, multiple people at the same time or separately? Okay, this is getting too personal. Too personal. <laughs> so yeah, hey, we... I'm not judging, I'm just asking. <laughs> I'm an old-fashioned man. I'm a one-woman man. I don't know. Relationships are complicated. Let's put it that way. Yeah. They're really complicated sometimes. Yeah, they are. They because, are. you know, you have to... It's hard to think rationally about something that is a, a topic that is emotional. Hmm. And when we make decisions, we use the rational part of our brain. We do, you don't use the emotional part of our brain, which makes it very difficult to navigate a relationship, which is why it's probably the most yeah. common thing we ask advice and, about. And very easy to give advice about when you're out of it. Ah, yeah, yeah. Muy fácil dar consejos. I'm sure I've given advice about relationships. Advice that in you my, myself... You should do this. Why are you not doing yeah, this? That I haven't taken myself. You know, someone yeah, is having a yeah. problem that I've had a million times and I'll probably have again. But, you know, in the moment when I'm not experiencing it, I'm an expert. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say something for like the ultimate answer for this question. Okay. The worst piece of advice ever is unsolicited advice. It's unsolicited. Yeah, that is. Cuando the worst alguien thing. te yeah. viene a decir lo que tienes que hacer sin que tú lo hayas yeah, yeah. pedido, that is the advice. worst. Yeah. Don't do that to anybody. Please. Yeah. Do you know anyone? Do you know anyone who does that frequently? Me? Yeah, no. <laughs> do I do that? No, but I, I know people, like, I I have friends, university friends oh, that used yeah. to do that all the time. Mm. See, Rob, you're doing that completely wrong. Yeah. <laughs> what you need to do is X, Y, Z. Yeah, look, dude, I want your advice. If I want your advice, I'll ask for it. Yes. Okay, yeah. I'll ask for your advice. <laughs> have you ever written to an advice columnist? Mm, maybe when I was a teenager, the super pop. Oh, like really? I said, maybe. I don't remember. Look, there's a woman staring at the window. Let's uh -oh. wave at her. Hello. Hi. It's Dr. La Camera. <laughs> Yay, La Telly. Woo. <laughs> no, she went away. She, 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 didn't, was, she didn't like it. She looked scared. Um, yeah. Um, you, were, you were a little bit scary. <laughs> <laughs> and what, what, what advice did you ask for? I don't remember. It was... But probably I wrote something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've never written to an advice columnist. We in England, specifically in England, we call them um, agony aunts. La tita agonías. Yeah. Agony, agony aunt. aunt. And in America, they call um, there is a very, very famous agony aunt. Agony aunt um, wow, what's it called? Dear, I think it's Dear Abby or Dear Amy. Mm. Um, uh, so, yeah, they call it... Um, you know, writing to Amy or Abby, I can't remember. But yeah, an agony aunt, someone you ask for, you 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 seek out for advice. <laughs> I'm not sure I would feel comfortable doing that, writing to a stranger to ask for advice. Yeah. Whenever I've asked for advice, <laughs> I've always asked a friend or, mm. a f well, not a family member, usually a friend. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Marco says, the worst piece of advice I have ever received Buy shares of Forum Fila. Woof. Fila. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know what that is. Que compre acciones del Forum Filatelico. <laughs> that is a terrible piece of advice. Um, fortunately, I didn't, says Marco. <laughs> Congratulations <God. laughs> on your excellent decision making, sir. So, um, should we reveal okay, um, let's who, do this. Is the, who is the dirty thief? Let's do this. <laughs> should we put our jackets on? Okay. Yeah. Let's see. <clears throat> All right, let's have a look. If you're not watching, if you're only listening on the radio, I'm sorry, you're going to miss how cool we look in our jackets. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to pop uh, I'm going to pop my collar even though even though it's hot in the studio. Ooh. <laughs> it's a little bit obvious. Now. <laughs> <laughs> so, one of the people, well, let's not give it away. One of the okay. people in the studio, oops, um, uh, <coughs> stole their jacket. 50% of the people think it's Tino. 
30% of the people think it's Rob, and 20% think it's Mamen. Um, would you like to reveal who it is, Mamen? What do you think, guys? I mean, look at us. <laughs> <laughs> it was me. Mamen is the thief. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I don't feel proud about this. I don't know why, I, why we're doing this. Uh, yeah, because I was the guilty I'm, last I'm, week. I'm suffering a little bit. <laughs> so if this if this coat is yours, <laughs> I feel really bad right now and I want to give it back. So if, if it's yours, please come to Calle Orense 69 and I'll give it to you. So to explain because... to us, explain to us how you how you came to steal someone's jacket, Mama. That is a horrible story. I'm not proud of this. You don't have to be proud of it. We all do things when we're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> this is even worse now. Okay, so one night I was partying out. I was painting the town red. Yeah. Estaba de fiesta. And somebody stole my jacket. Dun, dun, dun. And it was really cold. Oh. And I just and you thought the one, the first one I saw and is that one. You thought, I'm going to pay it forward. No, I I'm was. I'm going to steal someone else's no, jacket. No, it wasn't like that. I just didn't want to get, <laughs> like, really cold. It was yeah. December and it was really cold. And someone had stolen my, my jacket. No, quería pillar una pulmonía. Yeah. So, yeah. So thanks so to if, your... if it's yours, if you... This one, when was this? It was a long time ago, three years ago or so. It's a nice jacket. It's really nice. It's really warm. warm. And it's not my favorite. It's not... It's nice. It's warm. It's nice. a beautiful color. It looks <laughs> looks expensive. It looks, it looks really expensive. Yeah. I looked it up and it's quite expensive. So if you, if you, if you tell me the size and the brand, I'll give it to you. So there you have it, guys. Who stole sorry. the jacket? Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Luego el karma me lo ha devuelto muchas veces. Yeah. Así que ya, ya. Don't I, I mean, steal things. About, it I, happened years I, and years I, ago, right? Yeah, it happened, well, three years ago. Well, there but, you go. Well, you can still be arrested for it, so. Yeah. Good. <laughs> can I? No. Um, police, if you're listening. Oh no, I, no, I don't think you can be arrested for <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> uh, Sorry, I just have to make a phone call. Don't do that. Don't... <laughs> so if, he, if someone steals your jacket when you're partying, don't steal somebody else's jacket because that is a terrible, vicious circle. Yeah. And you shouldn't do that. And stealing is bad. Yeah. And so the last person don't be like who, me. So the last person who went home from, the, home from this party had no jacket. Yeah. Because everybody saw that their jacket had been stolen yeah. and stole someone else's. Yes. Poor guy. Yeah. Poor guy. Um, let's take a quick look <laughs> at the... Um... I feel really bad. I hope my mom is not listening today. <laughs> yeah, if you're, um, if you're listening, mom, <laughs> no Christmas presents for Mama and Rivera. <laughs> Los Reyes Magos. Reyes Magos Carbon. Yeah, they don't come. They don't come for people who steal jackets, Mama and Rivera. <laughs> I feel terrible. Uh, no, I don't feel terrible. Come on. We still love her, right? Blah, blah, live us. <laughs> um, Luis Enrique says, a piece of advice, just don't get a finger in the pie. No metas el dedo en la tarta. I don't know that one. I don't know that piece of advice. <laughs> um, uh, Annibelle says, when my daughter was a baby, people used to give pieces of, adv oh, pieces yes. of advice in single ad. Or, yeah, or advice in general. We never pluralize, really, advices, um, which were a nightmare for me. I imagine that was oh, a nightmare. Oh, yes. Everyone knows how, how to raise a baby. Raise a baby. Yeah. And obviously, the correct answer is, you know, you put a bowl out with the food and the water mm -hmm. and take, take it out for walks three times a day. Yeah. Perfect. Easy. easy. Perfect. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Neither mama nor I have children. So. No, say not that. Not that. <laughs> um, uh, Luis Caro says, "How can you do that, mama?" Yeah, I know. I'm really, I'm really sorry Muy about that. I, I was a little bit tipsy. Uh, Marco, had you? Um, uh, he knew. From he the knew. Beginning. He knows everything. This guy. So mama, really clever. So mama, he says, "I was right. I really love you, <laughs> but the truth is the truth." <laughs> See, no one thought it was a woman. No, no, no. They thought it was me and Tino. So. Um, you found something in the pockets, said Luis. No, it was empty. This is true. True story. Uh, it was, was it empty. Really? Yeah. There was nothing in there? There was nothing. Cigarettes? In there. Nothing. Nothing. I don't know. Do we no. believe it, guys? <laughs> <laughs> um, Luis says, a finger in the pie to get into a specific problem which is not your concern.
Oh. Well, I didn't. I don't know that expression. I've you're, been educated. You, 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 you're teaching Rob some English. Yeah. Wow. Luis Enrique, qué fuerte. <laughs> we would say to to keep your nose out. Mm -hmm. to keep mind, your nose mind out. your own business. Mind your own business. Yeah, minding your own business. That's probably good advice as well. Yeah. Really. Yeah, that's good. Guys, we're coming to the end of the show, but don't go anywhere because coming up right after the commercial break, after four minutes of beautiful, wonderful promotions, is Kyle Miller with Drive Time. I've been Rob Grams. I've been Mamen Rivera. And you've been listening to Blah Blah Live. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.